Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a Google Apps for Work account. And this will give you professional looking email addresses, online storage, collaborative documents, and video meetings access. So let's go over to apps.google.com. And that will be the site for the Google Apps for Work. And here, uh, just iterating what I just said, you get email, storage, calendars, video meetings, and more. There's a pricing table for five bucks a month. You'll get all this stuff here. And for $10 a month, you'll basically get more storage. Go from 30 gigabytes to one terabyte. All right, let's go back to home here. I'll just scroll down and show you some other things on the site here. And you get a 14 day free trial. All right, so let's come back up here and click on get started. Okay, so as you can see here, you need your first, the last name, your current email address at work, and your business name. And I will fill this out and come back when I'm done. All right, so I filled all this out, put in my current email address, my business name, how many employees you have, and the region that you're in. Click on next. Okay, so at this point, you can use your own domain or you can buy a new domain. And in my case, I'm going to buy a new domain because I don't want to muck with my existing account or my existing company. So I'm gonna click on buy a new domain now. And you see you can select a .com, .net, .org, .co, and there's even more out here. All right, so in my particular case, I'm going to select a .tv domain name. So that would be for $8 a year. And I'm going to call it videopizzazz.tv. Check for availability. And it says here that videopizzazz.tv is available. So I'll come down here and fill out this other information. All right, so I said I'm gonna buy a new domain. I put in the uh, domain. I'm going to pick .tv. So it's videopizzazz.tv, it's available. I entered in all my domain contact information here. I'll put in my phone number and click on next. So then I'll put in a username. I'll call this Dan at videopizzazz.tv. Put in a password. Prove that you're not a robot. Secure code that you see here. I'm gonna click on both of these. Click on accept and sign up. All right, it says here you need a Google for work account for videopizzazz.tv to log in. So I'm gonna click on add account. I'm gonna put in the email address that I created, put in my password, click on sign in. All right, so I need to verify my phone number. So put in the phone number that you used when you activated your account. I'm gonna just ask for a text message, click on get code. All right, you should have received a text message so enter in the six digit number that was that was in your text, click on verify. All right, so you can read all this information here and click on accept. All right, so now this is just uh, verifying the new domain that I created, videopizzazz.tv, which is going to be $8 a year. And so I will just click here that I understand that and click on continue. Just kind of reiterating everything again. So click here, I have read, click on continue. All right, so now you'll enter in your payment information and then click on how you want to pay with a bank account or a credit card. Enter in your information and click on continue. Okay, so we submitted our payment. It says you have successfully completed the domain purchase. Domain is now being set up with the register and we will send your email information once your domain is registered, after which you can use Google Apps for work. 
All right, let's click on continue, click on the next, and then, then it automatically brings you into your admin area. I'll see here that I did get an email from apps dash no reply saying you've successfully purchased videopizzazz.tv. So I'll click on that and it says here you're on your way. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is add in some users. Then I'm going to click on the plus sign here to add a user. Create a new user. I just called this Dan1 for my first name. My last name is Fashionbauer. And then I went Dan1 at videopizzazz.tv. Put in a password. Click on create. And it said it created a new email address, Dan1 at videopizzazz.tv. You can click on create another user if you'd like. It's important to note that when you sign up for these accounts, you get charged per user. So for instance, if you picked a $5 a month account, you will get charged $5 per user per month. All right, so as you can see here, I now have five users, five email addresses. So that would be five times five. So that would be $25 a month to have these five email addresses. All right, so let's click over here, go to home. So now let's see if there's any coupon codes. So if I go, let's see, I searched Google for coupon codes and I found this Google app promo code site here. And I scroll down to the bottom here and I click on, click me to get your Google apps promo code, save 20%. So I did that. And it asked you to fill out your email address and then I did get an email with a promotion code in it. So let's see if that works. So come over here and click on billing. Now it says that I have five users in here and that my domain is active. Click on set up billing. Scroll down here, you'll see what you get for $5 a month versus $10 a month per user. Basically it's the storage. You get 30 gigabytes of storage here you get unlimited over here, but I'm going for the $5 per user per month. So I'm going to click on select and you'll notice here that it comes up and it says, yeah, you have five users. Well, that's an estimated $25 per month. But I'm going to click on the promotion code and I'm going to paste in the promotion code that I got in that email. See if that does anything. So it took the promotion code and it says to get 20% off each month for 12 months if the minimum monthly bill is a dollar. I do want to pay for five users. So that would be $25 a month. Click on continue. Click on continue. And click on continue. All right, so it said that I am subscribed. Click on continue. And you can add apps if you'd like. You can see more apps here. So there's lots of different apps that you can add in here if you'd like. I'm not going to do any of that today. But anyway, that's how you would get your Google Apps set up and get some additional emails that you can use for your uh, marketing activities. So I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.